Okay, today we're taking a look at the Sonic SK Tech rod sleeve. Now, I got this loaded with my small setup. We're taking a close up look at the features of this thing and just how much gear it actually holds and if it's right for your angling. So, let's get right into it. So, most rod sleeves out there just hold your rods and reels and protect them from damage when in transport. This thing can hold my whole small setup. So, if I want to get out there quick, I just grab this. It's fully loaded, throw it in my car. This is an integral piece of my fishing. This is the 10 foot version. I liked it so much I did pick up the 12 foot version for my bigger rod setup as well. This carries two rods and reels fully made up. My pod is in here, uh, bite alarms. It has the mat, has two slings in this right now, and three nets. It does have the option to carry more stuff, like if I wanted the option to take a spod rod with me as well, there are pockets for that. Let's get right into it and I'll show you my small setup here. So this thing has really nice metal zippers on it here with Sonic branding on them, very nice. And as you can see inside here, it does carry a three rod setup, but I like to put my pod in the middle just so everything's here ready to go. So I have the Fox Stalker Plus rod pod, nice and compact, fits right in the middle. The narrow part lines up with the narrow part of the sleeve and the wider parts luckily line up where the real seats are. And the buzz bars, I just Velcro them into place where the rods normally Velcro in so everything stays in the same spot. I can grab it quickly. I'm not rooting around, losing pieces. It's all nice and secure in there. So that's very quick to set up. And then my bite alarms just slide in either end. So two bite alarms, pod, buzz bars, everything fits nicely in here. Now this is the 10 foot version of the sleeve. So I have 10 foot Sonic Vader X rods in here right now with some Shimano bait runners on them. Now these are a smaller bait runner, but this does hold my bigger carp reels as well. If I want to hop for big pit reels, there is enough room in there for both of them. So there we are, two rods, pod and bite alarms in the middle section, not too shabby. Lots of room in there. I do like that it has these padded uh, separators, so nothing's banging around and getting damaged in there. Everything is nice and secure. Now on the outside of this case, there are a ton of straps and other pockets as well. So I just strap my mat to the outside here. This is my old beat up Nash Dwarf mat strapped on the side there so i'm good to go got my mat it does hold the sonic sk tech mat the one i have right here it folds up into this sleeve which i can strap to the side as well it's just a little bigger bulkier harder to set up that one i can just roll up really nice and compact so um this pocket on the side here this is very nice it's got nice sonic sk tech branding on it and it does have a half zip so it's very easy to get nets and slings in and out of this side pocket these are retractable and two-piece nets i have in here I have the Signet two-piece net, the Dwarf, Nash Dwarf retractable net, and the Sonic Vader X RS two-piece net. Those three fit in there. I also have the Signet sling that slides in there with those. So those all fit in this pocket. And then there is more room. If you have like a baiting spoon handle you want to slide in there, there is some more room to fit other stuff in this pocket as well. So really nice big pocket on this thing and those all fit in that no problem and it clips down uh, in the side here this this is marketed that this is, holds a small shelter into this there's a bottom pocket here it slides into and then straps wrap around it and hold it into place this is just the large sonic sk tech sling i sometimes slide in there um, but eventually i'll have a small shelter that i will be able to take with me on my small sessions and now i really like this because with all this gear nice and compact it doesn't weigh too much like other transporters and options out there really well thought out piece of kit let's look at the materials it's made out of now Okay, now on this side of the transporter, you can see there are neoprene pockets at either end. Uh, these will hold your fishing rods. Um, if you only have a one piece net handle, they do slide in here. You can slide them into the one end and they strap down with just these little quick elastic straps, which I really like. This can hold your spod rod on the side, uh, extra third rod if you want, or if you have longer net handles, baiting poles, anything like that, just strap right to the side here. And yeah, nice little feature there for if you want to take extra gear. I usually don't use these because I have the two piece nets, which slide into that other side pocket. Another really nice feature of this sleeve that many others don't have out there. 
Uh, it does have two little pockets on the sides here. You can carry your fishing license in there, throw your wallet in there. If you have a small cell phone, it will fit in there. Um, these are marketed as lead and accessory pockets. So if you have any leads, any little pieces of kit you want to slide in there, you have one on either side, uh, just inside the handle straps there. Uh, like I said, this pocket, very nice on the side here, holds a ton of gear in it. Um, half zip on it, get things out very easily. Another nice touch is the inside of this pocket there's like a rubberized coating so if your nets are wet afterwards your slings you don't want them to get your car all slimy you can just throw them in here. This will get stinky after a while if you do that but it will hold the water in which is a nice feature. You just strap this down nice and tight over the top and you're good to go. And then coming around to this side, this is a big pocket that you slide your shelter into. I have that third, that second sling. I do slide in there and everything has straps that tighten down so things aren't flopping around. It's not getting caught on brush as you're walking through trails and stuff around the lake. Everything straps down, tightens down, so it's just a nice compact package. Shoulder strap on this thing is adjustable, uh, it goes pretty long. I like to keep it nice and short just so I can throw it over my head and strap this across my back. And yeah, it makes it really comfortable, nice padded strap on the outside. It does come with a nice uh, camel pattern on the outside, the Sonic SK Tech luggage camel pattern. Looks very sleek, very sharp, nice Sonic branding all over this thing. And yeah, I have nothing bad to say about this. There is a rubberized coating on the bottom, which is really nice. Same with this neoprene handle. So when you're loading it in your vehicle, you can just grab it, pick it up, guide it in very nice and easy. So the main reasons I bought these is just to protect my rods, but it's also nice to have everything in one nice compact setup. I can just grab it and go. Allows me to be mobile on the bank as well. And yeah, it's always nice to have things organized, ready to go because I can find that can be a mental block for me sometimes getting out there on the bank that if my stuff's all disorganized I can't just throw it in the vehicle quickly I usually get discouraged and don't end up getting out there for those quick sessions and catching more fish so that is the Sonic SK Tech sleeve I have nothing bad to say about it the only thing on this one when it did come this was just a manufacturing error the uh, seam here came apart so the foam was sticking out i just stitched that as you can see back together myself i'm not the greatest at stitching but other than that no issues with this thing it's held up pretty good over the years i've used it for a few years now as you'll see in my future videos i do use this quite a bit in my daily angling so I hope this video helped you guys out. If you're thinking of buying one of these, like I said, it comes in different options and the full written review is over on our website with links on where to purchase it or check out prices if you're interested. Now, when I do take this setup out on the bank uh, or I use my scope transporter, I also carry this bucket. So if you're thinking, hey, you don't have any terminal tackle with you, no bait, where do you carry all this stuff? This doubles as my seat carries my scale, rig box, pop-ups, stick mix, everything like that goes in this bucket. Um, this is a really good setup when you compare this Ridge Monkey bucket with another gear transporter such as this. And we might talk about this in a future video just because not all buckets are equal. This one may cost a bit more, but it does have a lot of features other buckets do not have. So maybe in a future video, stay tuned for this one.